stand alone in Westminster Bridge. I made acoustic distortion. I turn towards Big Ben. There is no time. The face across the street is blank. Blank clocks. Blank clocks. Thank <laughs> you. 
My girl, not a murder. The talking fool Jesus. The young mental Sam. Talking, model, guide. The physical conference. The sexual, mental, murder.
This Venus of the dunes, virgin of the time slopes, rose above into the meridian sky, diffused along its crests into the wind.
pain cycles. And these are aimed at the ionosphere over the Soviet Union. If this is, in truth, uh, not an over-the-horizon radar, but the uh, technology uh, aimed at producing the same effect as the Soviet technology, then what we really are in the middle of is electronic warfare aimed at the citizens of both nations. We established a number of years ago that there is a magnetic component to this woodpecker signal that can penetrate anything, salt water, shielded rooms, etc. And we picked this magnetic component up on our magnetometer type devices. If we can pick it up, it's highly, highly likely that this thing is causing neurological changes in certain people who are sensitive to this type of energy. Fortunately, not everyone. Perhaps 30% of the gross population can have neuronal alteration because of the presence of this particular electromagnetic interference. And that's affecting the way they behave and the way they feel. I think it can do this. Woodpecker doesn't just cover the United States. The signal can also be picked up loud and clear throughout Britain, Western Europe, Australia, and the Far East. It cannot be heard in the Soviet Union. We've been watching the woodpecker now for six or seven years and believe that we have decoded intelligence on the signal. It is certainly uh, in the range that has been demonstrated to be psychoactive in animals. Since 10 hertz is a more or less benign frequency, psychoactive, whether this is intentional or an unfortunate uh, byproduct of their technology, we don't know. We do know that they know about psychoactivity and magnetic fields. Soviet scientists were fully aware of the psychoactive potential of electromagnetic fields well before the Moscow signal was first beamed at the American Embassy in the 1950s. Published research papers detailed the long-term effects of microwaves, as including extreme fatigue, loss of coordination and sensory control. Within the American intelligence community, there is a group which believes that one of the most important purposes of the signal was to alter the brain waves of the embassy staff. In this sense, they believe that the Moscow signal was the prototype of Woodpecker. And it can be highly psychoactive. All they have to do is drop this frequency by several hertz, from 10 hertz to another slot, it's going to be neuronally psychoactive.
What we conceive of as time may be simply the relentless process of entropy, of decay, of increasing randomness.
By now, you should be relatively experienced in using psychotronic sounds, more specialized in their function. The first of these is what we term a thick tone. Listening to this sound, especially at high volume, can cause vomiting, nausea, and trigger fits and convulsions.
demons.